Imagine spending hours crafting thumbnails to boost YouTube engagement, only to wish there was a faster way. What if you could generate eye-catching, high-converting thumbnails in just one click? That's exactly what I've built, a YouTube thumbnail generator workflow in N8N. It lets you create thumbnails for any niche automatically. All you have to do is pick a category, like horror, and choose whether to upload your own background image and text, or simply use a predefined template. Then hit submit. The workflow springs into action, auto-generating your thumbnail using a predefined prompt, merging it with overlay text, and combining it all with the Generate YouTube Thumbnail API. And just like that, we've got a professional looking thumbnail ready for a horror video. We've also put together a collection of example templates that showcase different overlay text configurations including font styles, colors, and text positions. You can find these inside the Community Lesson Hub. They're ready to view, copy, and reuse right away, so you don't have to start from scratch every time. Make sure to check them out. They'll save you a ton of time and help you get inspired. Now, let me walk you through exactly how the workflow operates behind the scenes. Once you submit the form, we first check the Use Example field to decide the next branch of logic. In this case, we selected yes, which sends us down the true branch of the if node. This leads to a function node that loads predefined template data. Because we chose the horror category, the function node grabs a prompt specific to that theme and pulls in the overlay text, including both top and bottom text. Next, we use an edit fields node to tidy up the response. This includes all the fields from the function node plus the image URL passed in from the form submission. Since we're using the example template, the background image URL is left empty, and we generate the background using the prompt instead. Now, another if node checks whether we're using the predefined inputs. Since we chose yes, we use the prompt from earlier and head into the generate image node. This node creates a new image using that prompt, Make sure to include the XAPI key in the request header. This is your access key, which you'll receive after joining the Zero to Launch Premium community. We also include this API key in the header of the Generate YouTube Thumbnail node, so be sure to note it down and save it in a convenient place. In the request body, specify a resolution of 720p, ideal for YouTube content. Once the image is ready, we bundle it with the overlay text and send it to the Generate YouTube Thumbnail API node. This is where the magic happens. We can customize the font, size, color, and even the text position on the image. In this case, we're using template two, a layout with top and bottom text, overlaid on a full background image. Let's try repositioning the top text just a bit higher by adjusting the Y axis value. Nice! See how easy it is to tweak the design. Now, let's explore a manual setup. We'll input our own overlay text and provide a custom background image URL. For the background image URL, we just select an image URL from the web. After filling out all the fields, we just hit submit. And this time, the final thumbnail generates almost instantly. That's because we skipped the background image generation step and provided our own image URL instead. The workflow now follows a simpler path. Since we set use example to no, the if node takes the false branch. It then leads to a node that grabs all the manual input fields from the form. Next, it reaches the image generation check node. Because we chose not to use the example template, this node also takes the false path and skips generating a new image. Instead, the next node renames the image URL field so it matches the expected output name from the generate image step. This clever move lets us pass the custom image seamlessly into the thumbnail generation without needing to change anything from the previous setup. All right, let's check out the result. All right, let's fine tune the top text position a bit.
Perfect. That's looking clean and professional. Now let's test a different layout using template one. This one mimics the thumbnail style of Revenge Realm, featuring an avatar on the right and bold text on the left. All right, first we switch the layout to template one. Then we update the image width to be smaller, around one third of the thumbnail width. Now let's tweak the image prompt. This time we want to generate a woman character that fits the new context. We also update the top and bottom overlay text to match the theme. Now we're ready, let's run the workflow. We choose revenge as the category, use the predefined prompt to generate the image. Hit submit and give it a moment. Boom, here's the result. Looks awesome. By the way, if you want full access to this YouTube thumbnail generator workflow, plus step-by-step -step video lessons, ready to use templates, and advanced automation resources, you'll find it all inside the Zero Two Launch Premium community. This is where I share exclusive workflows, tools, and lessons you won't find on YouTube. And just a quick heads up, we're increasing the membership price very soon. So if you've been thinking about joining, now's the perfect time to lock in your membership and secure lifetime access at the current rate. Once you're in, the price never goes up for you, ever.